So what is going on guys? Welcome back to episode 5 of your FIFA rating. That of course is episode 2 for Charlie. If you haven't seen last week's episode, I'll put it up there for you to go check it out. These are our cards on screen right now with our stats from the previous episode, which was weak foot and shooting. In today's episode, however, we're going to be testing our skill moves, yep. our pace okay. and our dribbling. Brilliant. So without further ado, let's get into the first test, which is going to be our skill moves. Right, so Charlie, we're now at skill school. On screen right now is every single trick on FIFA 16, ranging from one star skill move up to five star skill move. Now, starting off, obviously we're going to do the one star skill moves, which are in the corner. You've got the full juggle and the foot fake. You get three attempts to perform each trick. If you don't do it within the three attempts, you have to go back to your start and that's how many skill rating you get. Okay. You want to go first or second? You can go first. I'll go first. It's pretty easy to get one star. skill move which is there I'm gonna to choose to do a step over and ball roll Fake left, go right. So for the four star skill moves, we're going to do the full roll to the left, cut right, and the simple rainbow flip. Both completed four star skill moves. Now for the five star skill moves, we have to do two floor moves and two juggling moves. The two floor moves are gonna be the McGeady spin and the hocus pocus. Okay, so for my two floor moves, I'm gonna be doing the hocus pocus and the sombrero flip. So for my five star juggling move, I'm going to do around the world and the chest flicker. My two juggling five star skill moves, I'm going to be doing the laces flick up and the Tuzani around the world. So Charlie, we've both completed all the five star skill moves, which means obviously we have five star skills and they get added to our card. It is now time to test our dribbling. You ready? Ready, let's do it. As you can see, we have upgraded this dribbling course from last year, slightly more advanced now. As you can see as well, the first section is dribbling through the yellow cone, you then come up to the white cone and you go around this twice Either foot, Charlie in this demo has just used his left foot. You then come through the white cones, zigzagging through just like this, going around the outside of these cones and eventually finishing up at the blue gate. You go through and it's a big sprint all the way through to the last blue gate and you finish it by putting it into the back of the net. Right, you see in the course, 
this one there is no way of working out our total score so it's down to you guys let us know in the comments what you think our overall dribbling rating should be maybe look back to joe and i's last year's cards check our dribbling rating and maybe work from there see if we do better or worse i'm up first let's do this Let me know in the comments now what rating you think I got. Your go, Charlie. Okay, so I'm up next. That was a good attempt by Theo. Dropped a few skills in now, I like that. I'm gonna try and better it. I've taken my knees put off because it gets in the way. I thought I was alright, could have been a little bit better, but I tried my hardest, I'm knackered now. Oh. So then guys, after the dribbling, we've decided to give ourselves a rating of 88 each, because we thought we were quite similar. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But of course, in the comments, let us know if you agree or disagree with the 88 dribbling rating. Please let us know, should we be different? Should Charlie be higher, lower? Should I be higher or lower? Let us know in the comments and I'll change it for the next episode if need be. But the last aspect of our FIFA rating we are testing today is pace. Now when I was younger, I was known for my pace. But nowadays, injuries, age, bad hamstrings, you name it, have slowed me down. However, Charlie, he still rates himself. He's still a yeah. pretty nippy player. I've come back from that injury good. Yeah, I think you have. So we're gonna put a 100 meter pace to the test. There's a formula on screen now, how to work out your FIFA pace. Uh, because the website we used last time is closed down, unfortunately. We're going to use the length of this pitch. After I've gone in the downs and asked, the length of the pitch is actually 103 metres. We're going to do it from the six yard box. So it's about just roughly 100 metres. Right, all the best. Good luck. Yeah, I reckon you've got this one in the bag. There he is. He will be ready, as he suggests, to take the gold medal, I'm sure. What does this man do? What can he do? Is there anything he can do? The bolt is loaded. The world 100 meter final. Set. They get away first time. Tyson Gay right alongside Usain Bolt, but here he goes. Two meters clear, three meters clear. Streaking away already. It's Bolt all the way. He's looking around at Gay. Watch the clock. It's gold for Bolt. And again, he's done it again. He's saved his title. He saved his reputation. He may have even saved his sport. <laughs> right, Charlie, you won the 100 meter race quite considerably. As soon as I saw you go ahead, I, I was like, I can't, there's no way I'm coming back from this. I can't keep up very, very fast. And that, of course, means your pace gets added to your FIFA card. Okay, so my 100 meter tie was 13.06. Now, to work out, my FIFA pays, I have to do this sum on screen. So, 13.06 minus 11 equals 2.06. 2.06 divided by 0 0.2 equals 10.3. 93 minus 10.3 equals 82.7. We round that up, and our final FIFA pace is 83, and that gets added to my card. Moving on to Charlie's FIFA pace, he ran the 100 meters in 12.23 seconds, so we subtract 11 from that, and that equals 1.23. 1.23 divided by 0 0.2 equals 6.15. 93 minus 6.15 equals 86.85. And again, we round up, and that leaves Charlie's final FIFA pace as 87. And that gets added to his card. 
On screen right now is our updated FIFA cards. We've added skill moves, dribbling, and pace to the cards. Don't forget to let us know in the comments whether we should change or keep our dribbling rating 88. And tune in next week for the final episode of this season's FIFA rating where we're going to be testing our defending, our physical, and our passing. So it's a very good episode to end it on. But apart from that, guys, this is the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to myself. Check out Charlie's channel. His link is in the description below. And we will see you next week for episode six of your FIFA rating. So until then, guys, we'll see you later.